a chip so powerful, so advanced, yet so quietly effective, that it forms the backbone of one of the most revolutionary operating systems emerging today, Huawei's Harmony OS. Despite its importance, this chip remains a largely hidden gem in the tech world. While headlines often focus on Intel's latest processors, AMD's Ryzen series or Apple's M series chips, revolutionizing personal computing, Huawei has been working behind the scenes to build its own future. One that's not reliant on Western technology, but fueled by homegrown innovation and strategic independence. At the heart of this transformation is the Kunpeng 920, a server-grade processor that is now powering the next wave of personal computers running Harmony OS. So why hasn't this chip grabbed more attention? What exactly makes the Kunpeng 920 special, and how has Huawei managed to create an entire ecosystem around Harmony OS PCs without leaning on established giants like Intel or Microsoft? In this deep dive, we'll uncover how Huawei's Kunpeng 920 is quietly but decisively shaping the future of computing, challenging the traditional dominance of Western chipmakers and software platforms. The Kunpeng 920 was launched back in 2019 as a key milestone in Huawei's ambitious drive towards semiconductor self-reliance. At its core, the chip is based on ARM's V8 architecture, which is known for combining high performance with low power consumption a crucial balance for modern computing. Originally, the Kunpeng 920 was designed with data centers and cloud computing in mind, environments where processors need to handle massive workloads efficiently without overheating or consuming excessive power. Unlike the majority of PCs and servers that use x86 processors from Intel or AMD, the Kunpeng 920's ARM-based design offers unique advantages. ARM cores are widely recognized for their energy efficiency and scalability, allowing the chip to run cooler and consume less energy while still delivering strong performance. This was a strategic choice by Huawei, aligning with global trends toward more power efficient computing. While the Kunpring 920 was first created to serve the high demand needs of enterprise servers, Huawei quickly saw an opportunity to adapt this technology for consumer devices. This became especially important as Huawei began developing its own operating system, Harmony OS, to reduce its dependence on foreign software, particularly after escalating U.S. sanctions disrupted its access to critical technologies like Google Mobile Services. The sanctions forced Huawei to rethink its entire technology stack. Unable to rely on Google's ecosystem or other Western suppliers, Huawei accelerated the development of a fully integrated ecosystem consisting of Harmony OS, Huawei Mobile Services, HMS, and its own custom silicon, including the Kunpeng 920. This was not just a workaround, but a bold, forward-looking strategy to achieve full Steco autonomy. From chips to operating systems to now you might wonder, does Harmony OS run on laptops? Absolutely. And it's already happening. Although most people associate Harmony OS with smartphones, smart TVs, and wearables, Huawei has expanded its vision into the PC market. They've developed a streamlined, lightweight version of Harmony OS specifically optimized for productivity, cross deaver collaboration, and seamless connectivity with other Harmony OS pouch gadgets. Even though the Kunpeng 920 wasn't originally designed for laptops, it plays a pivotal role in powering these early Harmony OS PCs. By leveraging its multi-core architecture, which can feature up to 64 cores, along with advanced thermal management, Huawei ensures that Harmony OS PCs deliver smooth multitasking, extended battery life, and strong performance across common productivity tasks. Importantly, the chip supports compatibility with a broad range of devices, helping build a truly interconnected ecosystem. This move is somewhat reminiscent of Apple's well-known transition from Intel processors to their in-house M1 chips. However, Huawei's approach differs significantly. Instead of designing a completely new chip from scratch for personal computing, Huawei repurposed the powerful server-grade Kunpeng 920 and customized it for the unique demands of PCs. This approach allows them to capitalize on existing technology and accelerate innovation while creating a hardware-software synergy unique to their ecosystem. What really sets the Kunpeng 920 apart from other processors? First, it is built on an advanced 7 nanometer manufacturing process which allows it to deliver high performance while maintaining energy efficiency and producing less heat, a critical factor in maintaining system stability and longevity. The chip boasts up to 64 high performance ARM cores enabling it to handle multitasking and complex parallel computing workloads with ease. 
Additionally, the Kunpeng 992 integrates networking and storage capabilities that are highly optimized for cloud services and ultra-fast input-slash-output operations. This makes it particularly well-suited for modern workflows that rely heavily on cloud connectivity and data synchronization. It also supports multiple operating systems including Linux, UOS, and custom versions of Harmony OS, giving it great flexibility. Though the Kunpeng 920 may not have the raw, single-thread power of Apple's M1, or the absolute top-end desktop processing power of Intel's Core i9, it excels in efficiency, scalability, and its tight integration within Huawei's ecosystem. In real-world usage, Harmony OS PCs equipped with the Kunpeng 920 have demonstrated strong performance in everyday tasks such as document editing, web browsing, light creative work like graphic design, and collaborative remote. This makes these devices particularly well suited for enterprise users, students, and professionals who prioritize stable, reliable performance over gaming or heavy video editing workloads. Huawei's strategy clearly focuses on delivering a balanced and efficient computing experience rather than chasing raw benchmark supremacy. Beyond the technical details, the Kunping 920 represents something much bigger for Huawei. It symbolizes resilience and the company's determination to carve out independence in the global technology landscape. As Huawei transitions from being primarily a global smartphone leader to a self-sufficient tech giant, the Kunping 920 is the embodiment of that journey. By designing its own processors and building a full software stack, Huawei is no longer beholden to external suppliers for critical technologies. This independence gives Huawei greater control over its product roadmap, security features, and overall user experience. Moreover, integrating the Kunpeng 920 with Harmony OS PC lays the foundation for a unified device ecosystem where smartphones, tablets, laptops, and even IoT devices can communicate seamlessly. Imagine dragging and dropping files between your Huawei Mate Pad and your Harmony OS laptop without needing cables, apps, or complicated setups, just pure, effortless harmony. That vision is exactly what Huawei is striving toward, with the Kunpeng 920 acting as the silent, powerful engine behind the scenes. However, Harmony OS PC is still facing some challenges before it can be adopted widely. One of the biggest hurdles is software compatibility. Because Harmony OS is not a direct replacement for Windows or Mac OS, many legacy applications don't yet run natively on it. This limits its appeal for users who rely on specific software. Huawei is actively addressing this by expanding its app ecosystem. Initiatives like App Multiplier allow users to run phone apps on PCs, which helps bridge the gap for many everyday applications. Additionally, Huawei is working closely with local Chinese developers and open source communities to broaden the software offerings and make Harmony OS more versatile. For now, Harmony OS PCs are primarily found within China especially in government, education, and enterprise sectors. However, as Huawei continues refining both hardware and software, there's strong potential for the platform to expand internationally, particularly in markets that want alternatives to West. Although the Kunpeng 920 might not be a name you hear often, it stands for much more than just a processor. It's a beacon of innovation, strategic foresight, and technological resilience. As Huawei continues to invest in its own chip designs and software platforms, the Kunpeng 920 provides the foundation for Chinese tech companies to compete head-to-head -head with Silicon Valley giants on equal footing. If you're passionate about cutting-edge technology, alternative operating systems, or next-generation processors, this story is just the beginning. What's your take on Huawei's approach? Have you tried a Harmony OS device or used a Kunpeng-powered PC? Share your thoughts and experiences in the comments below. How does it feel to use a system that operates independently of Android or Windows? And if there are specific tech topics you want us to cover, like a deep dive into Huawei's Kirin chips, an exploration of RISC-V architecture, or a detailed comparison between Harmony OS, Android, and iOS, let us know. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more detailed and insightful tech content. Thank you for watching. We're passionate about exploring the innovations and breakthroughs that shape our world. Subscribe, like, and share to stay ahead of the curve and keep up with the latest in technology, science, culture, and business. All in